1963, Ford did what any good company would do if they wanted to go endurance racing. They tried buying Ferrari. But as talks broke down with Ferrari, they decided to develop their own car, the GT40. The 40 standing for 40 inches from ground to roof level. Probably one of the most beautiful, sleekest endurance cars ever built. This car here, the Mark II, the 427 car, helped them win Le Mans. Not only win Le Mans one year, but four years in a row. 66, 67, 68, and 69. Part of the total performance package that Ford was developing. The ultimate in GT endurance racing cars. These cars came with a monocoque chassis, 427 cubic inches, almost 500 horsepower. They had a carcraft gearbox four speed which made them very reliable and were capable of over 200 miles an hour at Le Mans. The ultimate in the 60s endurance racer. Now I'm lucky enough to take this for a drive around the legendary track at Watkins Glen. Nothing sounds as sweet as a 427 Ford at 7,000 RPM. The car is almost violent, pulls you forward under braking, throws you back into seat under acceleration. Cornering, incredible. Keep in mind this car pulls well over a G on a set of biased by tires. Straight line performance with top speed, unbelievable. Wow, this has got to be the ultimate ride if you want to go close to 200 miles an hour. The car feels unbelievable. Now the quality of this restoration is second to none. Somebody has spent a lot of time on this car. They've not only spent a lot of time, but they spent a lot of time researching what's correct. Filler caps, the right way they painted the car, the quality of the paint, exceptional. The quality of the interior, exceptional again. And the beauty of this car is the restoration is a lot a lot more than just cosmetics, it works. You feel comfortable driving this car at 160 miles an hour. I can see how the guys at Le Mans felt very comfortable at 200 miles an hour. Now, what makes this car so valuable is not the quality of the restoration, it makes it what it is in the history. The history of this car is impeccable. In February of 1966, Ken Miles and Lloyd Ruby won the 24 Hours of Daytona. Later that year, they went to Le Mans. Ken Miles and Denny Hume came in second at Le Mans, and they were kind of cheated from the win. They, had actually, they were actually leading the race, but because Ford wanted a photo finish with all three cars, McLaren actually got the win because he started further in the pits and therefore covered a greater distance. The history of this car is second to none. The quality of the restoration is impeccable. That makes this dream car worth at least $2 million, probably a little bit more.